demonstrate ability to create custom parsers for unique log sources. So all of our parser and data normalization is all managed in the Logstream application. Uh, this is a one-stop shop to look at and manage all of Exabeam's default content in parsers, of which we have over 9,700 to really streamline and kickstart data onboarding. This is also where customers can create their own custom parsers. Uh, so let's go ahead and walk through that custom creation uh, process. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click New Parser. I can either upload a full log uh, or I can just copy and paste the sample. I'm going to go ahead and paste a sample in here, and I'm going to say, let's go ahead and create a new parser. Now, this is actually a uh, CrowdStrike uh, alert, so I'm going to go ahead and first I want to select my condition so my parser knows what to match on, and I go ahead and add my condition there. Next, we're going to go ahead and give it a name. I'll call it CS Alert. It's an alert, so we're going to make it an alert create success event. And this event creation process and specifying the alert will help tailor the fields that Exabeam recommends extracting. And I'll show you that in just the next screen. I can go ahead and select the vendor and the product. So this is CrowdStrike, this is Falcon. These vendors and products are all vendors and products we currently support in our common information model, which is over 500. If you had a brand new custom application log, you could also obviously create new vendors and products as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Falcon. Let me go to next. And this is where we start our field extractions. You'll notice here on the left-hand side, as part of our new common information model, for every vendor and product, we've gone and defined what are the core detection and informational fields. So what are detection fields? Well, these are fields that we use in our detection logic and all of that prepackaged almost 2000 detection rules that we have. So we're trying to provide a lot more guidance to customers very granularly on a per vendor product and event type level, what fields should be extracted. Right, so I know I should extract activity, alert name, time, uh, and host. So we can go down here into my sample, and we've already tokenized this log. So I can go ahead here and, okay, this automatically recognizes this is time. I want to map that extraction. I see my computer name down here. We're going to map that down to the host. I can see I have a rule name here. So this is going to be my alert name. And let's say I just had these three extractions. I don't have activity. If I click validate and next, it will give me a warning. It's going to pop up and say, hey, listen, you have fields that are defined by Exabeam's common information model that are not extracted, and therefore it may limit the downstream applications. So I'm going to go ahead and say, no, you know what? I actually do want to get the activity extracted. We're going to go ahead and extract it. And now I have all of these fields extracted. I go ahead and validate next. I can now give it additional metadata. So this is more metadata that's going to be enriched in this particular event as part of our common information model. So the landscape is kind of the, the type of product category. So this is an endpoint and the platform. What operating system was triggering this alert? Well, that was a Windows. So I can give it the platform and I can go ahead and hit next. And now I can go ahead and get a quick summary, finish and, and enable this. It takes me right back to my log stream. I can go ahead and now I can search for CS alert and I'm gonna go ahead and change my filters. I can now see I have this CS alert parser in the pipeline, I can even go now view the details. And this will show me that it's enabled. The parser version is 1.0 when it was created. I can see that all of the field definitions that are defined by the common information model are all here. Core detection informational. And not just the fields that are extracted uh, from the log that I defined, but also all of the additional enriched fields that we automatically enrich based on our common information model. I can go ahead and I can see things like the extraction preview. Uh, so I get that same sample here showing me views of what those fields look like. And I can even look at the individual parser configuration file that was built here. So really providing a lot of easy to use workflows and a lot of guidance to make sure that as customers are onboarding data and creating custom parsers, we're trying to guide them down and help them figure out what are the most important fields to get extractions built for to make sure that they can get the most value out of those logs in terms of the search experience, dashboarding, and threat detection investigation response. <laughs>